Hi, and welcome to my guide of the quest Grim Tales. The quest requirement is Witch's House Quest, and the stats requirements are 45 Farming, 52 Herbalore, 59 Agility, 58 Thieving, and 71 Woodcutting. All of these stats are boostable. For the items needed are two unfinished Termin Potions, a Seed Dibber, a Watering Can, and any kind of Axe. For the suggested items, is at the start of the quests, I would suggest you to have some weight reducing armor as well as one stamina potion. Then you also need to have some good healing food to pass aggressive level 88 monsters, as well as some better food for the boss fight against a level 138. The boss's attacks are always melee, but he also has other attacks that can drain your prayer points as well as disable them for 5 seconds. He can also taunt you, so you will fight him head on, as well as another attack that makes you run away in fear, or another attack that can heal himself. And if that isn't enough, he's also immune to poison and venom. Now because his defensive stats in all the three combat styles are pretty equal, you can use any combat style that you prefer. But if you want to use magic or range it, you are able to save spot hit, but with his special attacks with uh, draining prayer points or taunting, you will not be able to evade those attacks. Next for the boss fight, you will also need to have like two prayer potions of four doses. And at the start of the quest, you will also need to have at least five empty inventory slots. As for the teleports, I have brought along four Taverly teleports. I've just used four redirection scrolls on, on regular house tabs, and with my 10 construction, I was able to make these tablets. Two mind altar teleports. You don't really need these teleports. I just want to do this quest as fast as possible, and this will teleport me to this mind altar right here, just east of Goblin Village, and I just need to go twice to this tower just south of there. You can also just simply run there, but I'm pretty lazy and I've made myself these teleports because they didn't even buy for 50,000 GP in the Grand Exchange. And lastly, I've also brought two teleportation methods to a bank and I've just brought a ring of dueling along. Where to start this quest is just in the center of Taverly, just south of the house portal. Here you'll find a quest sign next to the two-handed sword shop. Talk to Silas. Skip through the dialogue a little bit. Okay, then you can just say the fifth option, I should be off now. Next, let's run south and now we'll need to go onto the White Wolf Mountain. The first part of the quest is uh, pretty much running around a little bit. Just go a little bit more west and then when you are going onto the White Wolf Mountain just take the eastern path taking the long and safe route around the mountain but we don't need to run all the way around just on the northeastern part of the outer layer of uh, the mountain we should find a Grimgosh or some kind of big bird to the northeastern part of this outer layer of the mountain until you can't go any further north. Then let's go west until you see a yellow dot or NPC sign. And here you should find a big bird on a nest, I think. Next to it, you should find some feathers. Let's try to take some and you will now have the attention of the bird. Now be careful because saying something wrong to this bird will make it bite you and you will automatically take 20% damage of your current HP. Once the conversation is over, let's talk to Grim Knash again. Let's talk to it once again, once we are standing in front of it. Then select the first option, I have heard you were a mighty griffin. So skip through the dialogue because now we will need to tell him a bedtime story. Select the first option, there was once a graveyard filled with undead. Second option, there lived a skeleton named Skullrot. Fourth option, Skullrot was insane.
Fourth option again, Scarlet hungrily grabbed the gnome's hair. Third option, started to strangle the poor gnome. Now because the bird is already drowsy, you can use any option that you want. It doesn't really matter at all. And the bird is asleep. Once well, the bird is in sleep mode, let's take the feathers once again next to the nest. And you should now have one griffin feather. Now we just need to give this to Silas. Either you can run all the way back or use one of your Taverly teleports. And now we are just next to Silas. Let's simply talk to him. And he should ask for the next item. Next for this item, let's teleport to the Mind Altar. If you're unable to use this teleport tab or you're unable to buy it, we now need to go south of the Mind Altar. Then you just need to run all the way east until you see this little uh, bridge, I think, to the path to go to Barbera Village. From there you just need to enter this uh, forest north until you see this tower. If you do have these teleports just go south until you see that tower as well. We just need to go south of that tower. On the eastern side we should see a crumbling wall. Climb over it. And in the northwestern corner we should find a drain pipe. Talk into it. Skip through the dialogue until the conversation is over. Next, talk into the drain again. Select the second option that you could try to climb up. Select the second option again. Is there anything up there that can help? and now he will drop his beard. Just click somewhere on the door so you are able to climb up his beard. You're now here on the top floor and the princess can't hear you. Let's talk to Rupert. Just skip through the dialogue and he will give you his helmet if you are able to release him. Right click on him and climb down Rupert. Let's climb down the crumbling wall and let's go to the northern side of this tower. Here we should find a pink princess. Talk to her. Select the fourth option, your second cousin twice removed. And now you just need to skip through the dialogue until it is over. And then you need to select the fourth option once again. I need a key for the house. And he has given you a door key. Next we will need to teleport to any bank. So I'm going to quickly use a door ring charge to teleport myself to Castle Wars. And here I'm going to unload some of my food because now we'll need to pass a couple of level 88 monsters. Now here at the bank, I'm also just quickly going to deposit some of my weapons and armor, as well as my prayer potions, they are not needed right now. Be sure that you have at least uh, four empty inventory slots, and let's return to Silas. Well, actually we just need to go back to the witch's house, which is next to Silas. Once you are back here in Taverly, let's open the door to enter the witch's house. Next open the northern door and we will now need to climb down into the basement. Here in the basement let's go a little bit south and next to the eastern wall we should find some boxes. Search these boxes and just repeatedly search the boxes until you find some leather gloves. This might take a while but when you have your leather gloves equip them and then open the uh, gate west of this basement. Two squares west, one square north, here you will find a music stand. Search it and you will find a music sheet. Read it, close it, talk to the genie. Once you have this, let's open the gate. 
to exit this room and now let's go to the south but eastern corner and go play the piano. You don't need your gloves anymore, you can simply drop them and then let's play the piano. Now the first five notes must be played on the right side of the piano and in the top left corner you will find which kind of note you will need to press. The first one is upper E. Click on that note. Then we need to press upper F, upper E, then we need to find upper D, upper C next to it. And then the next four notes needs to be played on the left side of the piano. And now we need to find lower A, click on it, then lower E, the third one starting from left, then lower G which is two notes to the right and then lower A which is just one note right from it. Click on it and a compartment will open. Click to continue, right click on the piano and search. And now you'll find a shrinking recipe, a to-do list and two shrunk ugnats. Let's read the recipe, close it, read the to-do list and close that one as well. Next let's use our shrunk ugnats on the unfinished termin potions to make to shrink me quick. Next let's go back north and I will need to go back to the main floor and I will need to go to the southern that small room south of the house on the main floor. Open the door and enter this small room. You sense a strange magical aura as you enter the room. Let's drink a shrink me quick and I will have to climb some nails to reach the last pendant. And these nails, which we are able to climb up or down, are indicated on the minimap as wooden ladders. Now here are also some aggressive level 95 mice. Ignore them and just go north. And on the eastern side, in the middle of this first path, you should find some nails which we can climb up. This is one out of five done. Next, go south. Just keep going south because now we will need to go uh, around this corner. Go around the corner, you will find two nails. Let's take the northern one, next to the uh, pillar. Next, go a little bit southeast, and then climb up the nails. Then, here, we will need to go northeast. Just go to the northeastern part of this room, and here you will find some nails which you can climb down. Climb down those nails. Then go north, you will find another a uh, wooden ladder on your minimap, climb up those nails and we should have reached where the pendant is located. Just go north, guarded by this giant mouse and let's take the pendant. Once you have the pendant, let's teleport back to Feldor or either uh, back to the mined runecrafting altar and let's go south. Now we just need to return this pendant to the pink princess. She will release Rupert and then we should have our uh, Rupert's helmet. Just talk to the princess in pink. Okay, once the conversation is over, we now have Rupert's helmet. Let's drop the music sheet, we don't need it anymore, as well as the to-do list. As well as a re shrinking recipe, we already know it. Let's teleport to Taverly and let's give Silas the helmet. Let's talk to him. Give him the helmet and he should now give you some magical seeds.
Okay, we now have a bag of magic beans. Let's go southeast. And I will need to run to the uh, washing line. Just southeast of the herblor shop, you will find a red line. East of that red washing line, we should find a farm patch. Let's use the magic beans on this small hole, uh, earth mound. Use it on it. You'll use your seed dipper to dig it in. Click to continue and let's now use a watering can on the bean mount. And this should start a small cutscene. Alright, let's now teleport to a bank and prepare for the boss fight. What you still need as a remainder of this quest is your Shrink Me Potion. You don't need your Dibber or your Watering Can anymore. You also don't need the Door Key, you may also drop it. You still need your Axe, you don't need your Stamina Potion. You do still need one Tanvery Teleport to get yourself back to the Beanstalk. I'm going to take some better food. Also going to grab my armor. Now you can use any combat style that you prefer to kill it. He mainly uses melee crush attacks, but he can also be safe spotted when using magic or ranged. Other attacks that he can do, and those are not avoided by magic or ranged at safe spotting, is uh, a attack that can drain your prayer points as well as uh, disabling them for 5 seconds, taunting you so you will fight him head on, making you run away in fear, and a attack that can heal himself. So first I'm also going to take two prayer potions. You could also take some combat boosting potions, but I'm not going to take them along. I'm just going to drink them right now before leaving to uh, Taverly. And as lastly, just bring some very good food because he can accurately hit uh, 24 damage. Now the one last thing, the fight will be in an instant. So any items lost on death will be permanent. When you think you are ready to defeat Glot, let's teleport to Taverly and let's return to the Beanstalk. First I'm going to try Iron Blast and Safe Spotting. If that doesn't really work out that well, I have my Whip and a Dragon Dagger. Well since my melee attacks are boosted, I might as well just start with a Dragon Dagger attack. Let's climb the beanstalk. And let's attack Glot. Use protect from melee. Maybe use some ultimate strength. And let's try to kill him as fast as possible. My prayers has been drained. They should not be able to attack. Oh, they uh, activated immediately back. Okay, he's uh, less difficult than I imagined. I might as just well try my magic safe spotting. See if that works out. He already just taunted me. Do watch out for your health. He also drains my prayer points. Yeah. Okay, magic doesn't really seem to hit that much. I think melee is a little bit more efficient. Currently at 66 magic. It might as well just be my uh, magical level. Sometimes magic hits quite well, sometimes it doesn't. I prefer melee. Magic is a little bit too slow. I 
And Glot is already defeated. Come on. Five more hit points. Oh, never mind. It's already dead. Once Glot has been defeated, it should automatically drop a Golden Goblin. Let's take this from the floor. Maybe take also the other loot. Drop this vial. Golden Goblin is the most important thing. And let's now return to Silas. Let's go a little bit south and climb down the beanstalk. Let's run northwest. I didn't make an extra taverly teleport tab. I'm not that lazy, I can walk 10 seconds. Let's return to Silas, give him the golden goblin. And now he has asked us to chop down the beanstalk. So let's return back to that tree. Hopefully you still have a shrink bee potion. If you do not have one of those shrink bee potions anymore, you will first need to go back to the witch's house and next to the door there should be a manhole. If you enter the manhole there are a couple of experiments. Kill those and they will automatically drop uh, Ooglock roots. Add them into an unfinished Termin potion and you can make as many as you want. Once you are back at the beanstalk with your shrink bee potion, let's use it on this tree. You should see another short cutscene. Now the only thing that you will need to do is... Shit. Okay, the only thing that you will need to do is get your level 71 uh, woodcutting ready. Any moment now. Okay, now now I have level 71 or higher woodcutting and use your axe on the beanstalk. This should trigger another cutscene of you chopping it down. Okay, when the dancing mode is done, let's return to Silas to complete our quest. Oh, good, I have a glory. <laughs> Else I wouldn't have a teleportation method out of here. Let's return to Silas. Talkity talk talk talk. Let's give that helmet back to us. Let's Thank you, and congratulations, you've completed Grim Tales. You are awarded with 1 quest point, 4000 farming, 5000 herbal and hit points, 14000 woodcutting experience, 6000 agility and thieving experience. You're also now awarded with a Dwarven Helmet, which is, I think, required for a Felador Heart Diary task. But also, this helmet is best in slot for uh, crushes attack bonus okay this was my guide how to complete grim's tales quest hopefully it helped subscribe rate and comment okay thanks bye